Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another episode from Network From Home. Today we have another quick video for you. We're going to be talking about the difference between Wi-Fi and the internet. And the reason we have to talk about this in the first place is because the terms Wi-Fi and internet are often used interchangeably. The problem with this is that Wi-Fi and the internet are not the same thing. So as a result, we're going to dive into what Wi-Fi is, what the internet is, so that way you have a complete understanding of what each of them does and is responsible for. The confusion that arises between Wi-Fi and internet often leads to questions like, oh, if I have Wi-Fi, do I also need an internet connection? Or, oh, if I have an internet connection, do I also need Wi-Fi? So we'll clear all those things up today. First, we'll be talking about what Wi-Fi is and what it does. So let's dive in. Okay, when it comes to Wi-Fi, I want you to think about how devices talk to each other. Wi-Fi is a networking technology that allows devices to talk to each other wirelessly. The device that I want you to think about, when you hear Wi-Fi, you should be thinking about your router. Wi-Fi signals are broadcast from your router, and this is what allows your devices on your home network to talk to each other wirelessly. Keep in mind, this has nothing to do with the internet. If you have devices on your home network, for example, if you have a laptop and a printer on your home network, you can use Wi-Fi to print wirelessly. And this just means you can do it without a direct connection. But with Wi-Fi, you don't get access to the internet. So again, when you hear Wi-Fi, think about your router because that's where your Wi-Fi network comes from. It's broad, broadcast from the antennas on your router. Now let's look at the internet side of the house. Okay, so when you think about internet, think about the internet as defining what the devices on your home network can talk to. And if you have an internet connection, your devices can communicate with the broader internet. If you don't have an internet, internet connection, your devices can't talk with the broader internet. And this internet connection is delivered by your internet service provider when you purchase an internet plan or an active internet connection. So with Wi-Fi, you think about your router. When it comes to an internet connection, I want you to think about your modem. Your modem is what allows you to use an internet connection in your home network. So you buy an internet, internet plan from your internet service provider. That connection is connected to your modem. In my case, I have a cable modem, so it's with a coaxial cable. That's what allows me to have an internet connection on my home network. So this modem here establishes a connection with the internet service provider. It then passes this internet connection to your router, which can then share that internet connection over Wi-Fi. So I hope this helps clear things up for you. Your internet connection allows you to talk to the broader internet, and that is delivered to your home network through your modem. Wi-Fi is how your devices talk to each other, in other words, wirelessly on your home network. And if you have both Wi-Fi and internet in place, the devices on your home network can use the Wi-Fi network to access the internet. 
So in many cases, people want a wireless connection to the internet with their home network devices or their home devices. And who wouldn't want that? But the important thing to understand here is you need both Wi-Fi and an internet connection if you want wireless internet connectivity in your home. And that's where the difference between internet and Wi-Fi comes into play. Okay, hopefully that clears up for you the difference between Wi-Fi and an internet connection. And you now understand why you need both if you want to provide the devices on your home network with a wireless internet connection. If you'd like some more detailed information, I will link to a blog post that I've written on this topic down below. This will provide you with some more specific examples and detail about what Wi-Fi provides, what you can do with Wi-Fi if you don't have an internet connection, and conversely, what you can do on your home network if you have an internet connection but you don't have Wi-Fi. Also, if you have any questions, please leave a comment below. And as always, thanks for checking out this episode from Network From Home. We'll catch you on the next one.